wildfires in green country. Over the past couple of days, wildfires raged in several counties, burning thousands of acres and destroying multiple homes. Green country is not out of the woods yet. Tomorrow's a potential high fire day. The good news, there are things that you can do to protect yourself and your property. Two News reporter Max Resnick is live now in Manford with how they're preparing for another possible outbreak. Max. Karen and Russ, good evening. Here's one way to help you prepare. Firefighters say you should take these wood piles that are currently sitting on your grass and move them over to the gravel. That's just. As the wind howls through Manford Wednesday afternoon, Marvin Stoop steps out to his porch to show us where a wildfire jumped the road and took down his home in June 2012. They got my place, which you should have never done because the wind was warm. Marvin lost more than just his home to the wildfire. We lost our house. I lost my boat, my motor home, and my motorcycles, and about $4,000 worth of tools. The Creek County wildfires burned 50,000 acres of land. But even in the face of flames like these, firefighters say you can protect your home. Wagner County Fire Chief Kelly Groom says it starts with a little yard work. If you remove the leaves and the wood piles and stuff like that away from your house, that takes a lot. A lot of times those houses won't catch on fire. If your grass is tall, cut it and definitely don't drive through it. People drive out in a field where the grass is kind of high and their Cadillac converter or their exhaust pipe will set the grass on fire. Marvin hopes people heed those warnings so he and his neighbors don't have to experience another wildfire. Watch. Make sure it don't go nowhere. Keep your water hose handy. Now, before those technical difficulties, we were telling you about these wood piles. Firefighters say you should move them off of the grass and then onto the gravel. That's one way to help prevent the spread of the fire to your home. Right now, there are six counties here in green country, including Creek County, that are under a burn ban right now. Luckily, we do have a little bit of drizzle, so that is a welcome sign. Now, firefighters say that if you are going to burn, if you're in a county that does not have a burn ban, they encourage you to contact them before lighting those trash or brush piles. Live in Manford tonight, Max Resnick, 2 News Works for you.